Hello, people. How y'all doing? Just came on for a minute to talk to y'all about stuff. But before we get into that, let's get into a prayer. Thank you. Thank you for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us and guide us. Watch over us and guide us and protect us throughout this day. <clears throat> and what our steps throughout this day, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you come through me at this moment in time, Father God, in order to give the people absolute truth, Father God. And I pray, Father God, that you let the Holy Spirit come through me at this moment in time in order to give the people absolute truth, Father God. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father God. Amen. <clears throat> Let me talk to y'all about something real quick. I don't know, it might be, it might not be that long. But, um, maybe one or two topics, maybe. Maybe just one topic. But uh, I just want to say, uh, <clears throat> it's things that took place in this world. <clears throat> that happened, right? But uh, these are the things. Well, this is the thing. When these things took place, let me hold up because I know y'all probably can't hear me. I don't know. Somebody said I need to speak louder. <laughs> um, when these things took place in the earth and when they went out, this is what I want you to know. Who's to say? That that wasn't actually a virus that went out in the earth. And if it did, and they, if someone did set that virus off in the earth, why were there no arrests when people were caught for doing it? Tell me that. That's it. Now, um, wanted to talk about um, <clears throat> when these things went out. And if it was a virus, which I kind of think that. It's kind of like most of it wasn't really a virus. You want to know what it really was? That what they did was, they probably, what I'm thinking is, sent these spirits and these demons out. Now, I'm just saying a suggestion right here at this moment in time. But I know that for some, they can't understand it. And, you know, they, they said something about these shots. Okay, they got you to take the shots and things like that, right? The, the shots things. And when you took it, the immune system falls, right? But when the immune system falls, you, it, 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 people passed away from um, fear. Fear of the heart. But not only that, now they sent the spirits and the demons out. At the time that this thing was coming out, they sent this thing out. The people hearts and things start to fail on them. Because they were being attacked by these demons and these spirits. A lot of people can't handle these things because they wanted to probably test these spirits and these demons. For which they did open up over there in their little scientist places. When someone said, "Oh, 
Oh, they, they open up a portal and things like that. It's real. It's real. They did. And... It was a portal of the nun. Of the other side. And when they open these things, that's when the Lord, you know, you couldn't imagine the things I know, the things I understand. Um, but who's to say that when they, people took their shots, and it's been, it's millions of people who did this. And Fear is something because they never been around a demon. They never knew nothing about a spirit. And those spirits and those demons attacked people in their minds, but they attacked the whole body. See, you don't understand what goes on behind the, the, the things of what these ones do. And they do these things. But this is just something that I'm coming on and asking. You know, kind of like, because it's just something that I, I, I kind of like sit back and I thought about too. Though. I never just said nothing about it, but who's to say that 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 you know the people hearts fail because of fear, and that's why they can't find no, uh, and the doctors can't find no uh, nothing in their blood or no cause of death. It's because of that. Because you can't find it. You won't find it. A person passing from fear. See what I'm saying? It's untraceable. So, who to say these things happen? But this is the thing. <laughs> Why no one's been locked up for it? That's my, that's my suggestion. Why are no one being locked up for doing this to over three, three million some people? You know, it's, it's just, it's not, it's not understandable. You get a pat on the shoulder <laughs> for doing this to three million people. Like it's just a thing to do. It won't be a thing to do in the Lord's eye. Those who did. Because they just kept hollering about, oh, we're going to depopulate the world. We're going to do. And it just, things just kept falling and failing and things like that because the Lord wasn't with that. He wasn't with that. And that's why all their plans and things were failing. Because they were trying to make it happen. And it didn't happen. You see what I'm saying? It was it was going against the Lord's will. And things will never happen when you go up against the Lord's will. For their will and their doings and things will fail. Everything that they do with it. When you come up against the Lord's will. And his purpose and his plans and his prophecies in the earth. Like I said. Going against divine order. Going against. <laughs> divine laws. They don't speak about these things. This is on a different level, guys. I don't know if some of you even know about these things. Yeah, you might go to church and things like that, but your pastors and preachers don't teach about this. They don't teach about this because of one or two things. They either work for this wicked one, or they don't want to tell you the real thing. Or they're just not, they just, they just don't get on their level with other people. But see, why hold in the truth? When 
God give you wisdom and knowledge, you're supposed to spread the wisdom and knowledge. And give people truth. That's what, him, what, that's what you studying under the Lord for. For him to give you these things, for you to give to others. There are no mistakes with the Lord. You don't make mistakes. He just want to see who's going to be the one to actually do it and do the right thing. It takes a lot of faithfulness, loyalty. Most of the people in this world do not know it. They couldn't tell you what loyalty is. Couldn't tell you what faith is. Can't. Because they're not of it. If I told you to go to the store. I gave you $20 to go to the store. And I know what I'm giving you. And also I know what the price of my purchase. Of what I'm asking for. And. My price is. Let's just say five dollars in uh, uh I don't know. I'm just giving the equation right now. Five dollars in um fifteen cents. Or five dollars in uh no, let's say five dollars and seventy five cents. Would you bring me back? 14 and a quarter. Or would you bring me back? $10. And say, oh, it was a little more than what it was. You know? And I know what it is. I know what the price is. But this, this is also me testing you. This is what God does. This is also me testing you to see if you're going to bring back the 14 in the quarter. You see, the Lord does things to see if things will go the way he thinks you're going to go. He hopes you're gonna go. He hopes that you're gonna go. But most of the time, people don't want to give him back the glory. It's only very rarely, 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 very few, very few, very few that brings him back that 14 minutes. Person probably one out of a million people. <laughs> it's crazy. But just giving you an example of some things. You know, there's no uh, uh, people that's faithful. Everybody got an agenda lie so this is a video that also call for truth but not only that it's the call for you to uh, expose the lies Stop the lies <laughs> and stop ignorance. You grow. There's no need for it. You could do that. And you grow up. Paul say. 
when I was a child. <laughs> I did childish things. I did things of a child. But then when I became a man, I do manly things. And I leave everything else that I was a child in the background. That, that person there is no more of me. You know? So, a lot of people have to get this understanding that, uh, like I always say though, it doesn't cost nothing to be real. Priceless. But in that return, you get everything. It doesn't cost nothing to be real and honest and faithful. It's priceless. Remember that. And I thank y'all for listening to these messages. Take this, Lord, take this message to the Lord at this moment in time. And uh, y'all get into some fasting, some praying, some reading your word. Uh, connecting with the Lord, build a relationship with him. Um, and I thank y'all for listening to these messages. This is God's good news for you today. And y'all be blessed. Amen.